Hello everyone, this quick video will show you the blocks that are used in Scratch to build the coding projects. The first color, and you can see all of the blocks are color coded by category. The first category in color blue are motion blocks. These blocks control how your sprite moves around the stage and can control which direction it is pointing. After that, we have the purple looks blocks, which control a whole lot, uh, like what the character is saying through text bubbles, what the character is thinking through a thought bubble, which costume it is in, what backdrop we see, the size and color of the sprite as well. The next category down, the pink or lighter purple, um, is all of the sound blocks. In here, um, the students can control what sounds the sprite plays. They can actually even record their own sound. They can change the pitch and volume of that sound as well. Um, just a little thought though, I usually don't show the students these blocks unless they do have headphones connected because it can become quite loud in the classroom. After that, we have our events blocks, and each stack of code needs to start with one of these blocks. So we do see the rounded top showing students that they need to drag one of these in before they grab any of the other blocks to fit underneath. And you can see as I get them close, they do snap together when I let them go. After that, we have our orange control blocks, and these are used to control a program. We can either have our program wait, we can have our program repeat, and finally um, use conditional statements where if a program senses a different input, they can produce a different output. Um, after that, we do have sensing, operators, variables, and the option to create your own blocks with combinations of others, but we'll save these for another time.